Thoughts on keeping the core lit at all times, keeping abdominal flexion at all times. Bruce Lee, always want to keep tension in our body. Kelly Starrett from Mobility Wad, we always want to keep tension in our body. 20% abdominal flexion is a good amount for standing. When I'm walking, my abdominal flexion is at like 80%. It's a lot of work to walk, I think. Um, barefoot, soft ground, or shoes on concrete. Um, it's not an easy activity. It's very athletic. And if we don't keep the core lit, we stomp, uh, stomp around. Listen to your footsteps. Listen to others' footsteps. This all comes back as athletes to um, performing. Um, yeah, walking is our training. Sleeping is our training. How are we transitioning sleep? How are we transitioning between stationary exercises? Right? It's yoga. It's something to practice. Um, be, or just to be very form conscious, right? Sleeping, walking, um, keeping the core lit, standing, sitting, sitting down, sitting down, all these things. The quality of our movements bleed from our training to our life back to training because it's all the same. And yeah, as athletes, I just think we need to be, we need to be real conscious of, of the quality of our movements and it all comes back to ideas of keeping tension in the body. Um, you know, Bruce Lee, it was his thing. Like, he was always, you know, it's what gave him the reaction speed, right? And how do you keep tension in your bodies? Flex the abs. Flex the glute. Maybe push the crotch up. Flex push out, externally rotate, now we're, now we're moving into Kelly Star and Mobility Watch stuff, and all squatting in general, that's just where I got the information from. Knees out, now we're in athletic stance, right? We have a lot of tension. We can even screw our, screw our shoulders back, I don't know, create tension in the upper body, and it allows us to just release into movements rather than try to generate force, right? relax into movements and be more controlled obviously pretty rambly thoughts here but a lot of good thoughts um, stuff you're not gonna see applied to basketball from really anyone else really crazy ideas but I think that if you your life training outside the movements that you make if they're real high quality like you're gonna be athletic so we'll see how it goes for me. I've definitely got into the game late. Um, and at 24, I'm just getting better and better and better. More athletic, so look out for me. Um, things are pretty quiet right now because the channel hasn't been around that long and I haven't, you know, achieved athletically as much. I mean, it's just improving because my information is better. Just I'm, I'm so open-minded, and I've learned so much. It's just cascading. And I'm trying to share all that with y'all. So, um, yeah, hit me in the comments. I'm definitely responding to pretty much everything right now. Um, it's real quiet. And let me know what's good. And peace. Hope this is useful to you.